Okay, so we're gonna take round two. For some reason, um, everything stopped recording and I didn't know what happened and I was in, I thought I was with it and I lost it, but I had to go to the bathroom anyway, so it kind of worked and I was hungry, so I had some carrots and hummus and I feel a whole lot better. So maybe I'll stay on track and I'm hoping that when I try to upload this, I will be able to um, merge them together without having to edit anything. Um, but I did have a chance to listen back and I said a lot of what I wanted to say um, and I didn't know that I did, which is actually good news. Um, but there's a lot still that I want to cover and I wanna go back to the that list that mom, we're just gonna refer to her as mom because I have a feeling I'm gonna be talking about her a lot. <laughs> um, but mom taught me many years ago and the piece that I didn't say that is so vitally important is that on this journey of life, not even ascension or enlightenment or there's that be again and look and, and I've switched locations. I had to plug everything back in. He follows me. Hi friend. Adding sweetness to life. <laughs> I love it. Um, I want to say this real quick before I go back to that story, mom. Um, if you don't have this book, you really need to. Um, and there's a great thing in there about bees, which is kind of cool, which I'll tell you at the end. But anyway, um, not just, I, I, th I think in the, the grand scheme of life and not even just on the, and the journey of enlightenment or ascension or consciousness or however you want to define this, finding your purpose. That list, when that first boy broke my heart, I made the list and I continued to make the list. I still have the paper. Don't make every relationship heartbreak not worth it. Let me use the word worth. If you go through pain and you go through change and you go through upheaval and you go through whatever and you don't learn a lesson, then what really was it worth? So learn the lesson and then write it down got that piece. The last few years of my life, especially the last year, the lessons that I have learned have been what have woken me up. It's the lessons. It's, it's the digging that I was talking about earlier. Um, digging and digging and digging and digging and um, trying to uncover the truth, trying to uncover my purpose, trying to uncover who I really was at the end of all of the heartache and the change and the pain and the whatever. Learn the lesson. We're in relationships for a reason because we're supposed to learn from people. People are brought to us for a reason. Nothing in this life happens by accident. Nothing. Nothing. And the crazy thing is that if we don't learn the lesson, the same situation is gonna repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat until finally the divine, the universe, God, is going to smack you so hard with a two by four right in the face that you have to learn it, that you are, and that hurts because it's happened to me and I'm gonna tell you a lot about some of those too. But when you make that list, in relationships, learn the lesson and then write it down. And then keep it as a master plan for yourself and know that you know, you, you're not judging people, but you're holding people accountable. You're holding yourself accountable. You're holding your self-worth accountable. Go through the lessons of love and life for a reason so that you can learn who the hell you are and what's important to you. So that when you're challenged in the ways I think that all of us have, I can't say that just me, I, I, I know even my friends have been experiencing or have experienced so much of what I've been through, but this is about me. This is about my journey to awareness and consciousness and purpose. Um, when you're challenged by relationships that you're truly, truly connected to and um, 
your mask is gone and they are in the deepest part of you in the most vulnerable parts of yourself it's kind of like you know you allow that person that you love so much to hold your heart in the palm of their hands um, know your worth because you'll learn the lessons in all the other relationships so that when you're challenged by something big like an affair like infidelity like cheating like sneakiness like lies like so many big things in relationships you can say you know what I know who the hell I am and I know I'm not gonna put up with this or I know ways that I can put up with this and I'm not saying that that any of that is right or wrong or staying or leaving is right or wrong is it is up to you and your own level of self-worth and what is important to you and what you value and what your templates are it isn't my job to judge that I'm not sure what that is I was, okay <laughs> but that's what this whole journey in life is about is that list mom I get it I just didn't get the big picture lesson until recently. All of those relationships and making that list, I should have learned what my worth was. What was I willing to put up with? What, I, what did I know I wasn't willing to put up with? What was I willing to be absolute about and what was I willing to be the most forgiving about? The new template of me, the new template that I'm working on, is ultimate, unconditional love. And we're all going to screw up, dude. We screw up, and I do. We, I do. You do. You make mistakes. You're going to make big ones. You're going to have regrets. You're going to need to apologize no matter what. Life, it happens. And this template that I'm on, this, this journey that I'm on, I want unconditional love to be my focus for people, for life, for humanity, for races, for the, the environment, for the earth. And mostly, for the people in my life, if I say I love you, you can bet your life that I love you unconditionally you can do no wrong because I'm choosing forgiveness over everything else. In the last year of my life, that has been the greatest challenge. And then I'll take you back to the first video and then I'll, I'll repeat about Carrie Samuels because I want to tell you that too. I haven't forgotten. But I was on, I believed, a twin flame journey. And I, that's good music, hey. <laughs> um, geez. I, um, I thought that in order to be a divine feminine, that the patience I needed, the forgiveness I needed, that I needed to just keep sucking it up. It was a good lesson. To the rest of the world, my self-worth was challenged. Challenged. Probably look like a sucker to everybody. Who's going to go through my life and sit around and say, I forgive? Me. This is the new template I'm on. Forgiveness for... Ooh, I hate this word, sins. Ooh, that's old template for me, and it sets off a trigger, and I can't stand it. But it's I'm going to say it, because to forgive someone's indiscretion that you swore you would never, ever, ever in a heartbeat, in a, in a lifetime, in forever, ever forgive. That's what I'm working to forgive. I have good days, and I have bad days, and... I'm forgiving not to let the person that caused this turmoil in me and to cause this struggle in me, not to let them off the hook, but to let myself off the hook. 
I don't want to carry that ugliness. I want to have a higher vibration. I want to live in joy. I want to be happy. And if you're holding on to the past and you're holding on to someone's past indiscretions and you're holding on to hurts, you can't live in this higher vibration. It's not possible. It brings you down. It's like having 10 pound bricks in your pockets and every hurt is a 10 pound brick. Guess what? You're not gonna float. You're not gonna make it. There's no way you can keep your head above water. So I'm choosing to let go of the brick, not let go of the lesson, not say that my self-worth was too low, not to say that I didn't love myself, to say just the opposite, that I'm willing to forgive something I swore I couldn't, because damn it, those bricks are heavy. And I'm okay. And there aren't many people in my life that understand this part of my journey, whether it's twin flame or soul flame or shit, any flame, I don't care. Hot fire, it burns. That's what I know. It's a flame that burns, but you know what? I'm not carrying the fire. And I'm working my ass off every day to let go of every brick of every bit of pain and I'm going back 42 years and anyone that hurt me and anyone that I've hurt that's the other brick on the other side and I got a mess of them too I'm lopsided all the time <laughs> I gotta be fair to both sides and I'm trying to make right what I did wrong and it could have been 20 years ago and I'm coming to you if I haven't already I'm coming to you I want to live in a higher vibration. I want to ascend to a higher level of consciousness because my purpose is unconditional love. To show this world and myself. To understand my worth in living in this world that doesn't, <coughs> pardon me, understand that. And that's okay. But it can be done. I'm not sure how some days but I'm trying. Carrie Samuels from numerologist.com is an incredibly beautiful human being. And without her daily affirmations um, that I literally recite multiple times a day over and over and over again, I'm a life path too. And they're written specifically for each life path. Look her up, CarrieSamuels.com, K-A-R-I. Check her out because it's incredible. It helps you understand your self-worth. It helps you question templates that you might want to rewrite. And it is so specifically written. I swore she wrote it just for me. And I, I know that there are millions of other people that are life path number twos. Anyway, I'm going to try to wrap this up. And I have, um, <coughs> pardon me, not yet obviously <coughs> a few more things in there I need to get out um, hmm low self-worth oh I and I got it I know I'm listening okay so um, Adia Gooden says that unconditional self-worth means that you love yourself unconditionally quirks and all and you feel alive it helps you to feel alive. You um, low self-worth is the root cause of mental illness. Paraphrased. Um, low self-worth can be lead to suicide, anxiety, depression, drugs, alcohol, addiction. Some of the factors that play today. Um, 